Sorry folks, no live show tonight, but enjoy this classic from the very beginning and see how much better we are now compared to how horrible we were back then. And we're still pretty bad. But enjoy this, and we will see y'all next week. All right. All right. Kick off some music and uh, you gonna put mine on? Just wait. What do you got? Just we're just gonna go live for mine. Yeah. Definition. Let's see if we get some viewers. Chris, I'm gonna get close to you. We found oh, you. You're fine. You're good, man. Right. Let me how I need to adjust this. Chris, you you you, you better adjust it than I am. Uh, I need to pull it back. Yeah, pull it back some, and then just turn it slightly towards me, just slightly. So you just gonna have to make sure you get close to Jay. I have to make sure I lean in because it's kind of cutting me halfway off. You can see so, it. So that's part of the reason why we don't. Agent number five, the goods. Or uh, what, what y'all feeling like? Ooh, we in the system at the lounge we call it the Kermit the Frog. I know it, but it's called the what? Agent number five. Agent number five. So I'm gonna own another story behind that. I want. I want. Yeah. Ooh, and I've had the I've had the white one too. Um, I, I, I gotta have the Kermit. I I, 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 I got enough for both. Let me have the Let me uh, have the white one. Love that song, Mom. Me too. Oh, bang! Raw and uncut, tails from the lounge. So we're we're doing Suckers. our suckers. You know why is it not? Y'all have to excuse all, right. all that mess up there. Y'all can see. You can't see that on mine. It's fine. It's fine. It's about the smoke. That's right. There we go. And um, the logo. See? We have the logo. This was all. Uh, the whole the whole thing behind us was all uh, Jay's idea, so that's why we're excited to have him back. Yeah, we got him, uh, we'll, we'll talk. We'll touch on that. All right, absolutely. So, yeah. All right. Um, Man, that's, that's, I'll set myself on fire. Look, simple guys like me just need something like that. You <laughs> got that big boss hog ass lighter. Oh, I need something fired up. There we go. All right. Oh, so wow, Rick is already on. Wow, we got 16 people on right now. Oh, did y'all do some what? promotion? Yeah, 16 people on. That's... Did y'all promote it? No, they just heard that you were going to be here, and they were like, "That was right. it." Oh, so that's that's that that's that low that's that good shit. ICC family right yeah. there. Yeah, and you guys have a following too. So we're getting better at it. Well, let me go grab one thing real quick, and we'll be ready to and go. And then we'll get started. All right, so let's see. We've got a... Uh, Uh-oh. says that there's a technical error, but... <laughs> so Chris Coulter is on. Larry Adams. Uh, after eight minutes. Uh, We're going to talk cigars. They're ready. They're ready let's to hear. See. Cam is on. Wow, there's plenty of people, but... Hey, Ron, double make sure that it's still recording. It says that there was a technical error. The music stopped too. Does that mean anything? Is it still recording? Yeah, we're still live. Okay. It's just for, for whatever reason, I can't see anything on mine. Now, let me see it. Let me pull it up on this phone. Um, that's still, it's showing that it's still going live. I'm just not seeing a good picture. He's not seeing it a just, picture. Must be my connection. All right, that's fine. We're yeah, good. it could be your internet connection. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, he's up. Here. Where are? Excellent. So let me uh, share this out to a couple of people real quick. And then tell everybody on Instagram live. And then put it over over here. This is so Ron from Tales from the Lounge. Everybody who's still on, <laughs> know you've been in out. We haven't got started yet. And this is Chris. Chris, you got to peek in. Yeah. Kind of cut off. There you go. All right. Tales from the Lounge, the full broadcast is on uh, Facebook. If uh, you guys do have Facebooks, Tales from the Lounge, we get ready to live live stream there. But um, so we've got two streams going. We've got our stream, and then we've got uh, Jay's stream from Definition Cigars, and we'll get our introduction going here in just, in a, just second. a second. Just a second. Let me. Uh, I'll kick off one more song here. And How'd you guys get your lit? Well, I don't have a lighter over here. 
There we go. Big Dick Willie over here with this damn light. I'm surprised he didn't share all that flame with you. I could have. Hold on, Ron, can, can we get some music that fits towards the definition vibe? Is this the music that people are hearing? Uh, yeah, and that's only because I'm just... What, what, do, do you have something a little bit definition-ish? Uh, what do you this want? Is, this is techno. I want, this show is, me what you got. This is, this is royalty free right. music. Before that's we start, why we don't kick, get kicked off the uh, okay. Facebook. Okay, let me see what you... Oh, Let's get, this yeah. Is, this is something for you guys. Uh, well, yeah. and, and then if you play anything that's like... A, that has all right. the lyrics yeah, and everything. Right. Facebook will kick you off and shut you down. And because yeah, of royalties yeah. and stuff. It is. Yeah. All right, we probably need to get started because we've already gone from 16 down to nine. Yeah, people want to see. People want to see something. So, so let's go ahead and we'll play this out real quick. Mm -hmm. Welcome everybody to Tales of the Lounge Cigar Company Spotlight. Definition cigars in the house. In the house. I'm Ron. I'm Chris. I'm Jamon. There you go. He is the man. We're going to start out tonight. Uh, we've done Definition before. Jay's been on. But we wanted to do him again because he had the greatest idea. And we're going to cover that first. And and we also, he's got some new blends out since he, the last time we've done all, this. We've got all kinds of stuff going on with Jay. So, and, and can you go ahead and uh, put it over on the screen over here so yep. I can see if people are coming in? Because for whatever reason, it's like a Jimi Hendrix vibe on the his screen uh, right now. This, I understand. This link doesn't work on to, something. Jimmy this Hendrix link doesn't want to work. Uh, uh, so let's see here. Let's see if we. There we go. Hey. Do I that. We're all I high tech over here. Yes, sir. Let me uh, kill this. There we go. It's a beautiful that thing. Technology. Dave is on. Rob is on. Julie. Dave is on. Yeah. D D Dave pops, my man. Move the darn grand. bottle. He said. He said it's too. It's, it's in. It's in people's. Well, Dave. Place. I, so I mean, go, Dave. you don't want to see the finest man on the on the screen <laughs> the whole time. You gotta let some things happen. Okay. What's up? <laughs> All right. It's okay. All right. Welcome everybody. And uh, last time Jay was here. We were talking about our cheap ass little backdrop here and how we were talking about getting a logo on it and everything. And he had this great idea. He says, as you have guests on, you should have them sign the, the backdrop and that way it shows some history and what's going on and who you've had on. And uh, it was such a great idea. We started doing it. We finally got the logo on the background and now we had to have Jay back so he could sign the background. Definitely. And we're gonna get him to do that at the end of the show. That's right. But Let's start out now with talking about a little bit what we're doing here. I'm smoking mm, mm, mm. the uh, White Band Salomon. And what's this one called? It's called The Goods. The Goods, and it is The Goods. And this is the uh, Kermit Green Band, which is called the Agent Number no. 5. Agent, Agent Number no. 5. five. Um, and I, I love this, this one. I, I smoked it almost immediately when it came in. Yeah. I think this one, when they brought it in and talked about it on Saturday at the shop, I think by the end of that day, uh, it was uh, just about sold out. Yeah. Oh, Didn't Pops yeah. call you and say, yeah, hey, Pops call I need more. And you're like, what? What do you mean you need more? <laughs> so we, we had a, Chris, we had a, um, we had a launch party um, for this, for these two cigars. They launched at the same time. And we invited our retail partners out um, to it. And um, you, you speak of industrial um, cigar company and, and Pops, Dave Frakes, um, and he smoked it and first light um he was like jay it's 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 young but this is going to be something and and we didn't open it up to just everybody in that way um because we we knew what the cigar was but um um he knew it from from first draw and as a result he wanted to be in in, in front of getting it into the lounge and, and and he was and it's and it's kind of done well there so far excellent yeah no, it's. I know it's done there. I rebooted my phone, and now I can see everything on my phone. Cool, cool, cool. Um, no, it's great. Uh, we. Uh, I. I was looking just to remind myself uh, earlier today on the website, uh, and if you haven't, you, you guys do have a good website. Talks about your different blends, uh, but I knew that in the system. We call this the Kermit, the Kermit Green. Yeah. Um, but I was like, I know that's not the name of it, so right, I went right, to it and right, I was like, right. Oh, the Agent Number Five. Yeah. Yep. So here's my question, because we always like to talk about symbolism. 
why agent where's where what's yeah. the, what's the inspiration behind is, agent number five it is real simple chris but great question um and and taste testing new blends and that sort of thing um we had uh a row of uh 12 cigars is what it was mm -hmm. crazy number and this cigar's placement was fifth in the line <sighs> So this became double O agent number five. I love it. Uh, I love so it. we nice. dropped the you know the whole James Bond energy behind. And just said it right. was it was agent number five agent number around five. it because the, it was the fifth cigar in the in the in the line. So uh, it, it was it, it was um, kind of on a covert operation to uh, find out uh, about itself and get smoked, and henceforth the name became easy. No, that's. Uh... You know, it's kind of a funny story, but it's always fun to understand. <laughs> and so now the white and those label, are the good. And, and the those good. are usually the best stories. Yeah, those are the best stories. Hey, I, I and meant, it's easier for me, honestly, to sell a cigar the when I when I can tell a story behind it versus just telling someone, oh, hey, go smoke this one. You'll like it. But when right. they hear a story behind it, yeah. in fact, I told, I told a couple of customers the story behind the Queen Bee hat. Mm -hmm. He bought one. He was back this past weekend. Bought two more, and then his wife and daughter. He told the story to his wife and daughter, and his wife and daughter wanted wanted two more. Unbelievable! So from a story, I sold five hats. <laughs> That's just because they knew it. the story That's behind the, the queen bee and the cease and desist and all that. So uh, it really does, and you know, it's something that uh, Brandon and Pops and everyone there does a really good job of, and I. I I didn't learn it on my own. I learned it from them. Yeah. So being able to tell the story about the cigar or whatever it is uh, definitely does connect with. Uh, and by the, the way, customer. I want to thank you very much because Chris and I are representing. Yep. We got our DC I mean, shirts I, on. Man, you you um, you uh, did enough to to make sure that you guys had some shirts on. That, that's all I'll say about that. We'll, we'll talk about that off we'll camera. We'll talk about but, that off camera. Right? But, but um, Chris, to, to explain a little bit about the goods, right? So um, and going to market with this cigar I, I looked at it right so what is the only thing in the world and with a clean mind that that starts off uh smaller and and gets bigger in diameter as you move up a, a baseball bat well my man i play baseball so awesome. I, I know <laughs> so um i did a simple search on one of the what what is what is, what is um the, the 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 top bat or what is the the most popular bat or what is the best okay. bat on the market and um, um I, I won't name the company but um there is a bat out there called the goods nice okay I I love so it. the shape of the cigar and it looking like a baseball bat to me and then just looking at that search i'm like oh it it, it fits with a cigar like this is the goods i feel that way about it this is the goods and it, the bat name. It looking like a bat. Boom! Let's run that. And no, it. it's it, it is. I mean, it doesn't have as dramatic of no. a change that like let's say a Cochon Volant does. Sure, 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 sure. But when now that you call that out, I do see that it does. Yeah, I mean, it there's is. a there, it's it's very subtle. It's it a is. very subtle taperness it to it. But yeah. when you when you call it out, it is easy to see. Um, and I can definitely see it's a miniature version of a baseball bat, and it's, that's what it's I have. Good. So I love it. No, that, that's great. Um, again, it's a, it's and I want a great to thank, story to tell. And I want to thank Jay again because he not only provided the smokes for tonight, which is something I generally do, but he also brought the whiskey. Yes, he did. And so he brought some angels that envy with him. So yeah. you know, we may not we angel may angel. not leave leave here till late in the morning, we'll, and we'll get to it. We might be we might be unconscious here before too yeah, much. We, we want we want to make sure that 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 we acknowledge the folks on the pasta pasta and shrimp though too. Oh, oh yeah, we, so. we, we can't we can't forget those folks out. For those of you who don't know, if you come on to the show, we show up early, and I make dinner. Or, I didn't show up early. And, and I didn't either this time. And, I was running late. And, and we sit down and we we eat and we have and we talk and we break bread and have have a conversation. We kind right. of talk about what we're going to do on the show, and then we come out and do the show. And it's so fun doing it that way, and such a relaxing atmosphere. But Ron, here's the thing: we know each other, so like that hour that you set aside for us to 
get cozy. Why would you be able to eat? Why would you be able to eat? You know, or we'll do it after the show this time. I ate like three minutes sitting here talking to Chris. (laughs) Sitting here talking to you. Let's get to it. We we know each other, right? Uh, Let's 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 go ahead and let's talk about cigars and and what's going on, um, and from Tales from the Lounge. So for me, before you guys go into your segment, um, the last time I was here, it was um, it was a little cooler outside, right? It was a little mm, cooler or hotter. No, it was cooler. Oh, we was we had the doors down and, right. and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and we was in the middle of the pandemic. Um, oh yeah. Oh, that's right. Really, we was in the middle of the pandemic, and you know, we had the had these different ideas about um, things here. Um, my question to 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 you first, Ron, and then Chris, what have you what what have you seen change? Because obviously, podcasting and broadcasting from your living room or, or, or your lounge or, 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 or your garage, whatever, um, or, or whatever your building was, people have done that. What have you guys done on your own to sustain your energy and your following um, to, 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 to continue to, to be something that people want to watch? Well, you know, cigars are our passion and the cigar culture is our passion. And being able to, uh, sorry, Brandon, Brandon, Brandon's comment said, you guys look like a reverse Oreo. Uh, and then people are, Oh no, you didn't. And so, yeah, anyway. so it's, anyway, it's, uh, Brandon. it's Brandon. And so as long as we can get together, that's all I need. Right. Cause I feed off of other people and I love being around other people. I'm a, uh, you know, I've been, I've been accused of being a social butterfly. You know, anytime that there's an event or anything, I'm always wandering around saying hi to everybody. So and, why not? So, you know, as long as that doesn't change, I'm golden. You know, I, I will say that I have noticed and heard more people talking about doing podcasts or shows similar to this in their own, not not a cigar show, but whatever, right. whatever you know, um, market the, they're yeah, in. Yeah, subject or, matter expert that they feel that or, they yeah, are. Yeah, whatever yeah, they yeah, are, yeah. right? Um, more so than I did a year or two ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot more of people trying to connect on social media and trying to figure out how to get social media to work for them right th- than we did in the past that than I've seen in the past couple of years so as far as you know have I noticed anything uh, different so that's in general for us uh, uh, what we've tried to do is oh how can we besides just cigar companies how can we spotlight other things that are tied to cigars so you know, we've done Yelly Belly Chocolates, we've mm-hmm. done Stretto Coffee, and we've tried to talk about the pairings. Uh, 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 Magnolia. Magnolia's been on here. Yeah. She's done done twice talking about different uh, wine Wines. pairings uh, and stuff like that. So try, and as soon as uh, someone say whiskey, uh, they slow down and have an opportunity. We're gonna try and have um, Rodney or one of, the, one of the admin from that group okay. come on and do something. We had, um, Amy from uh, Lone Elm on, and she did. She Super did. Dope. Yeah, it. yeah. Uh, has she not? She has not. But we need to get her on. I thought she's I on thought our list. Did. Yeah. Man. So he's already had dreamed it. Yeah, he's yeah, dreamed so, it. Yeah, he's I, already I dreamed it. So what? no, no, he's dreaming about Amy. Is what he's no, doing. No. So we we've, we've tried to keep it <laughs> fresh uh, and and mix so, it up. So hold on, pen and story. You, I want you to continue. So don't lose that thought. Right. Every time you say the word cigar, we got to take a drink. Okay. Oh my God. And you too. I I figured as much. Okay. All right. Cigar. I'll start it. Run. Mm. Cigar. Cigar. <sighs> so, that's what we've tried to do to keep it fresh and involve other things that are connected to cigars. Um, Take a drink, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. So. I'm not I walking, can say this is going to go south really this quick. Um, <laughs> this, this is y'all invited me. Yeah, I didn't ask to be here. So, um, you know, uh, and that's good though, Chris. And, it and is. We've worked on we've worked a little bit on web page uh, and tried to do some other different promotions and stuff. But uh, no, I, I think and try to be a little bit more aggressive in advertising uh, some of our our, our shows and uh, and putting that stuff out there. So well, you may have to pull out another bottle, bro. Anyway. Um, that, that's a couple of things that we've, we've yeah, done. I mean, you want you want uh, you want whiskey? You want scotch? What do you want next? I mean, I, I I'm not going to tell you what to bring out. Oh, you didn't tell me what to bring. I got you. All right, so I got you covered, then. So these are two of 
your your two newest, right? The two newest, two newest blends that we where we offer. All right, now that that cigar is, is, is has been has well, been you done. Said right. it. Oh, my bad. Right here. So to remind people of the other blends you have. I know you've yeah. got the uh, 919. 919. You've got it in the Habano and the Maduro. Yes, sir. Um, that's the the blue, the light teal. The teal, yep. yep. Uh, now, what? it's just called the 919? It's called 919. Now, you got to tell us, is, is there a story behind that? There is well? a story behind There that. is a story behind the 919. Um, the 919 was a celebratory cigar. Oh, damn it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is going on. <laughs> I think we picked the wrong word. I picked the right word. <laughs> it was a celebratory. I ain't gonna do that to y'all. I'm just fucking with you. Celebratory blend. It was a celebratory blend <laughs> that was created um, for my birthday. Okay. Um, Nine nineteen. Mm -hmm. Yep. I had um, September nineteenth. I had a uh, hundred cigars rolled. Damn you. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're already predicting in twenty minutes we're gonna be knocked out. <laughs> um, I had a hundred rolled. Um, and it was a blend. So to 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 say to a factory, um, roll a hundred. You know, it was it was something. It was a big deal. But um, they they knew it was my birthday, so went with it. And the blend was dope. So, oh yeah. Um, when it came out, it it again. Yeah, it hit. It, it hit. It, it hit. hit perfect. That was the same reaction from from the from the um from the, the, frog. the the they party did. that we had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Folks were like, "What are you doing? What are you, what are you gonna do with this?" So um, obviously, in September um, is my birthday, and it didn't release until the back end of the first quarter of, of 2021. So I, I really thought about that because it was it was something it was it was mine, right? <laughs> that was that was that was that was that was mine, and um, my, my my squad, my team was 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 encouraging me. Man, put that out. Put that out. Put that out for the people. Share it. Share it. Share it. And right. um, uh, uh, the, the the mission of the company of Definition Cigars is 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 to provide. Uh, I'm staying on it. You started it to provide a quality a quality cigar at an affordable price for the people. Um, so it, 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 me, it, Larry, it doesn't count if you say it on here. We, one yeah, of the three of us count. have to say it. You guys keep, they keep us, saying it on here. Me keeping that to myself <laughs> wasn't fair. So we released it and, and the rest is history. And, and shout out to Brandon Frakes. Uh, we had sit around and, and talk marketing strategy and ideas and, and the color of the band, um, to make sure that it was attractive to everyone, not just men. And and not just women, but to everyone. Um, the uh, I just love uh, I, I, lo I just love the bands because it reminds me of a garter belt. Yes. Aren't the breaks? Yeah. Aren't the breaks just awesome? Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, every time you turn around, you know, and and part of the deal, and and I kind of do this tongue in cheek, but part of the reason why I torture people on a weekly basis is because of the breaks. If sure. it wasn't for the breaks, I wouldn't have tales from the lounge. Well, and they encouraged torture. it, and they support it. Yeah. And I was like, "Why? You know, I, 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 I think for I me, I got a face for radio. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Ron. I, I think, I think, um, for me, when it when it comes to that family, um, the commonality um, with where we continue to grow with their help and feedback is that we're all looking to push culture forward. Exactly. Push exactly. It, man, make the cigar culture. Accessible to everybody. Make it better than it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. And then what you do tomorrow, remember what, you, what you've what you done from today. And that is the energy that, that I have with that family. Um, we talked about on, on the last um, segment I was here in, in the uh, process in which we had to go, or I had to go through um, to have our cigars be... Um, in such a, a super dope lounge, but the, from there the relationship has has. I ain't said it yet. Oh. <laughs> I was expecting. He's, he's you, he's hold on, anxious. every four sentences. Well, he's fuck it, <laughs> cigar. He's getting anxious over there. The man who wasn't gonna drink any tonight. The energy behind um, um, them, along with 
you know, um, the GM, um, Brandon, and, and some of the employees that's, that's in there, when I walk in there, um, it is clear that we are looking to push the cigar culture forward. Even See, I told you you were gonna say it. Bang. Come on, Ron, stop bullshitting. I, I would, uh, Even down to the person that just happens to walk in and says, hey, I'm in town, I Googled cigar lounges. I'm, st <sighs> yeah, this is fun. Yeah, we're not coming back anytime soon. Just so I'm know. in Plano, <laughs> and they told me to come to this lounge. And each employee knows to take that visitor around the lounge and, you know, introduce them to members and such. And that is what it is about. Because that shows that not only do I want them to feel comfortable in my lounge, but when they go back to wherever they're from, that's pushing culture forward. And they're going to talk about it. But this well, this happens before they ever even sold a cigar. Chris, and, and I know you're, yeah. you're, you're in there. Boom. So I'm going to jump in here real quick because one thing that I wanted to say, wow, while you're you're bragging on, on the lounge is that one thing I've been very impressed with by you and your entire company is that you guys have been very willing to take feedback mm -hmm. from the lounge, from mm -hmm. from customers that smoke your cigars. Yeah. And tweak things about your cigars or the blends. Uh, and so, as a person who smokes your cigars, I've seen how responsive uh, and quick you are to respond. So, that makes me feel even a more valuable customer because, wow. These guys are listening to what we have to say and actually making yeah. changes versus, oh, I'm just speaking in the wind. Man, well, right? thank you for that. Thank, so thank you I that. wanted to give you a shout out yeah. for that. Um, so I don't know who's in charge of getting all the feedback and then making that decision, whether it's you or it's Ron. one of your other guys. But you guys do a great job in doing that. And at least from... Now, granted, I, I'll admit I'm probably a little bit closer Sure, sure, to, sure. To yeah, you yeah, and the yeah, culture, because yeah, 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 yeah. I talked to Brandon and Dave. Right, and right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They but, talk but, about people making tweaks and stuff, but you guys have been very responsive. So, man, for, so I'll, I'll give you an example on the equalizer that's in the in, in the lounge. It was it was round. Yep. And um, now it's box pressed. While it was cool, round. It huh? was cool. It was cool. Then that box press. It's something changed when you did the box. I don't know. And that's crazy that you make small tweaks like that. That's the feedback. But that box press hit better than the rep. Than the, and it. And I've turned some people on to that one. That's the feedback. And, I got uh, feedback, Chris. Chris, I got feedback in there that it turned bitter on someone. Um, the cigar went out. They was. We're going to need another bottle, by the way. Probably yeah. so. I'm going to need some water and ice to start me, yeah, watering me this too, down. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right back. Ron's left off camera. I, I I don't I don't know if this is a tale from the lounge first that Ron just walked the fuck off. While no, we were he's done it once or twice okay. when we had technical difficulties, okay. but not to get. We don't got a technical nice. difficulty. Yeah, no, the <laughs> um, but a customer has said that um, it was bitter. They smoked it and it and it went out. And when they lit it back up, it became bitter in the round um, by Tola. And Chris, I took that and I said, Did that hurt a little bit? It wasn't cool, or or was it? Uh, what what the hell happened? I gotta figure. No, this out. It, it 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 hurt. Yeah, because that cigar has performed well um, across the country, specifically in ICC. Um, so to hear that, I was like, man, let's see. So um, what we did is um, we went to the box press. Um, Upgraded the wrapper just a tad. It's the same wrapper. Oh, oh fuck yeah! This is my shit right here. Watch out! That's uh. No, this is my shit. This is, is my shit. But group? this is the shit. Yeah. Well, this is the shit. We still Shout out to Lil' Mel. Yeah. Um. How far behind am I? No, 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 no we, we haven't had any. We haven't used the word. Thank yeah. you. Right. So, so Chris um went back to the factory and it was very receptive of of what I was saying. And um, it's the same wrapper. Um, we've just done a, done a, done a few things to um, improve the performance of it. 
Um, well, and same blend, everything. Nothing's changed. We we've just whatever it is you guys did, it, it yeah. worked. Uh, and As Pop it, says, it's, it's completely milk chocolate. It's, it, that, that's what Pop says. Said when I smoked this, I immediately think milk chocolate. When when it came in and I I smoked it in the box press, I was like, all right, how much different can it be if it's the same blend and everything? Box press to to the round vitola, and uh, I it it nearly literally knocked my socks off. I was like, holy cow. Um, so no, it was good. So that's great. Now, now that's called the equalizer. That's called the equalizer. Now, why was it originally called the equalizer? Um, what's the story behind that one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, we originally smoked that in a six by 60 okay. and it blew my back out uh, 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 <laughs> along with the rest of the ownership group. We was like, man, this is nuts. Um, and you know you're you're looking for adjectives to, to give to something that does that. And um, what 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 makes a great sound system ah. be better? All right, the equalizer. <laughs> equalizer. Okay. All right. I like it. That no. I, again, I I the names are intentional. Yeah. We just don't throw throw a flag. But you know, a lot of people don't realize that. A lot of people yeah. No, this like, is why we. This is this is why I'm here. Right. To do this. All right. So I do this. So that's that's Are the. You about something? That's the equalizer. No, I just thought I would pull up the website. It's been a while since I looked at your website. Uh, yeah, and and then you've got you've got the pig, the orange. The oh orange man. So talk to us about the pig. The pig is new to the ICC family, but it's old to the definition family. But it's done very well. The pig is a motherfucker. Excuse my language. The pig is that thing. Um, and and I've and got I've got several pigs in we're, my we're, We those are super are, proud of, of the pig. Um, whether you want to go Abano or whether you want to go Maduro, I mean the ass stacks. The wrapper is fantastic. And and now, and talk to us again. Majority of your stuff is uh, Nicaraguan tobacco. Yeah, ma majority right. of so. I'm 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 a creature of habit, even right. in my regular life. So what I like is what I like. Excuse me. Rappers from Ecuador, right? I love them. Binder and filler from Nicaraguan, I love them. But I was introduced to Honduran tobacco in conjunction with Nicaraguan tobacco, and I fell in love again. Um, which is where the 919 started from. Okay. So we've started to do some things with some Honduran Nicaraguan um, okay. combinations. Nice. Um, but that is my bag. That 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 is what I enjoy um, very much. Did your did your uh, Ron? But did you do that, Ron? No. But, uh, that's why I quit using Instagram. Because Instagram just, after after an hour after I, thirty minutes after or, thirty or forty five minutes it kills it dies. Well, we got to get the people back on. Or just restart. Yeah. You need to yeah. get up and go restart yeah. it real quick. Man, I don't want I don't want to disappear from the people. There you go. So, I was going to say, you know, hold on, don't go. Okay. But the people that just left yeah. don't know. Just restart it and we'll put it back up. But we're good for the people watching us. Um, and we'll get them back on here just, just shortly. Got to get the people people what they want all right so well i'll wait to ask this question when you're back on so your your people can uh know that as well so sean says sean he has not tried the pig but if it's a motherfucker he's gonna definitely have to try it and yeah he's in for it the pig the pig is i mean and by the way sean sean asked me what what else do i do with the uh bands I don't use them for garters, but I do throw them on as a as a as a temporary ring. I save all my bands, and so I, I I'll wear mine too. That's dope. Until I'm Thank done, you guys, until I'm man. Done Thank, well, Thank you. we kind of and, and you know and I and and not not to sound like a bitch or anything, but we kind of got that from Kayla and mm. Kayla Kayla Parker at, mm -hmm. Kayla Parker when she would smoke a cigar and she take the band off, she put it on and she say, "This is who I'm married to right now." <laughs> yeah, she's right. always made a joke that about is... getting a, a band and wearing and wearing a, a wedding ring band made out married of married to the married to the brand. I'm yeah, married, that, that is it. So, I'm married to the sticks, man. But yeah, 
Um, yeah, I keep all mine, so whenever I'm smoking one of these, when I take it off, instead of putting it in my pocket, it's just easy to slip it on one of my fingers. Man, I'm, I'm, exactly. tell, I'm, I'm not, not giving up um, um, energy from definition, but keep your bands. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. absolutely. Keep your bands. All right, that's an Easter egg. Um, yeah. I'm taking it. All right, <laughs> sounds good. Um, all right, so... Now what? Now so the the pig is if you if you uh, haven't seen her familiar, it's really short, pretty large ring gauge, four uh, 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 four and a quarter by sixty. Sixty, yeah. Um, um, ring gauge. It's it's um it's um. Chris and Ron, it was a cigar that um I wanted to try. So originally smoking it, it was in a. You said the word. I did I did? This is fucking awesome. Cigars, cigars, cigars. So we gotta do three more. One drink. Two drink. Three drink. Mm. I said it four times. Bro. I definitely need some water. I I had four. I was just okay. Yeah, yeah. Ron, you Ron, you sorry? No, I'm good. Okay. Mm hmm. I was so, laughing. That wasn't me getting ready. Yeah, to I was. I was, I was chuckling. Going. So <laughs> it was. Um, it was. Um, we we're past the twenty minute mark, so we're still. Uh, we we. Well, kind of, yeah. We're yeah. Uh, we're ahead of the. Uh, the, the I think people on, are just staying on, on to see how crazy we get. Man, no, it's gonna be. It's it's, it's, it's all gonna be cordial because we family. That's right. Um, but um, um, it was in a longer Bartolo when I first smoked that blend. Oh, okay. And man, man, I taste shit. Um. Every two weeks, I, I have something different on my palate. Like, I've identified the cigar that we're going to release on, in January. Oh, okay. Um, so, this, the pig um, has been, man, really cool, man, to just to just share that. It was, it, it, it was a, like I said, make cigars. At an affordable price for the people, mm -hmm. um, and that's what that cigar is. And man, people like it, so it's cool. But in terms of where you're going with it, the Maduro, it comes in Maduro and it comes in Habano. Depending on who you're talking to, I mean, we we get the right set of folks in here, and there will be a, a conversation going back and forth and why they like the Habano versus the Maduro. But both oh, yeah, of them absolutely. are phenomenal. It's like the 919. Uh, yeah. Depending on who you are, you may like the Maduro better than the Habano. Don't most of your cigars either come in the Habano or Maduro? The ones I feel really good about. Yeah. Um, and honestly, I've smoked all of the cigars, with the exception, which we're going to get into in a minute, minute except oh, man, uh, of your flavored ones. Which we'll talk about here in a little this bit. It's going to be a fucking night. <laughs> um, here, we need to finish off this Angel Name because I see you're empty. Well, um, I got the other one ready. Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, Habano. Yeah, see, I'm already... Uh, the yeah. Habano and Maduro in, in just about all of them. I've smoked them all. Chris, I, I think you I smoked a little bit. I, I mean, and, even... Hey, hey, they're, hey, give me that Give me that bottle. They're excellent. Um, that. Some of them, it's funny because some of them I like. I prefer the Maduro. But then right. some others I prefer the Habano and then even the ones that I prefer the Maduro on, it might even depend on what type of day I've had or there what time go. of day that really I prefer. You know what? I know I usually smoke the Maduro and I like it, but I'm in a different mood. I'm gonna go to the Habano today. So what watch this. I think hey, that's Hey just... Magnolia, this is gonna be the game we play next time you're on. Oh gosh, with the wine. <laughs> who, yeah. who, with who, the wine. Who's Magnolia? She's Magnolia the, uh Mashburn, she's the, the, the Burgundy uh, Geek, the Burgundy does, Geek uh, wine. And, okay, and okay. Here's geek. it with cigars. Yeah. Oh dang. She's actually a wine. This, 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 this is another definition staple. That's mm -hmm. it. That you guys know so, about this. Alright. But so we've covered several of them. One of my favorites. He might be a goat. One, one of the originals that uh, we started carrying in the lounge was that uh, burgundy color one. The Conception. The Conception. Now, granted, part of the reason I I, I lean towards the burgundy is because you're an Aggie. He's an Aggie, an Aggie, right? Aggie. man. Uh, so, but and so I don't tell hold us about against the, him. So tell us about the Conception and that and that um, beautiful Vitola. Oh, oh, man. See, I I I I, were, I went around that. I didn't say the c word, so. Man, the concept the conception is is so very special to our to our company. The conception was a cigar that we had worked on and released on our first anniversary. One year in doing this. Okay. 
Um, so the conception um, is called conception because there's Ometepe um, leaves that's a mm. part of the blend that comes from the Concepcion right. region of Nicaragua. Um, Nicaragua, excuse me. So it just was low hanging fruit for us to call it the conception. And that cigar from the anniversary that's been over a year, almost two years ago, I mean, it continues. You just said cigar. I sure did. Hey, and Dave's got a question for you, Dave. Hmm. You did no, my voice back in Nebraska. Without any response. Um, so, um, that cigar has. Dang. Fuck. See, the more we drink, the more we say the word cigar. Damn, Chris. So. That blend, that wrapper binder filler. This might be the longest show ever. That wrapper binder filler, man, has taken off. Even to this day, you have um, shops um, that are now ordering it, and it's it's like a revelation to them. It, you know, when I first saw it, I was like, ooh, but it, it, it's it's a Maduro. It's it dark. Is. So how long is that age? Because it doesn't it doesn't punch you like you might so, think it. So would. it's sun grown. Okay. Ecuadorian okay. Uh, Maduro. The leaves are out. Yeah. Okay. And Chris Coulter said that that hands down is his favorite. So sometimes, like, you can look in a box. You can look in a box. And you'll go through that box, and there'll be... A slightly different shade. Dark. Light skin. Bright lights. Super dark. Super dark. Yeah. The Kimbe Mutombo dark. <laughs> Mutombo dark. <laughs> <laughs> Manu Boldar. Oh, you guys man. can't say this shit. I, yeah, right, I was yeah. just about to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can. You can. I, I'm not going to say But that. I know what you were saying, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, 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 you'll see some shit. <laughs> you'll oh, see some man. shit in there. And it's like, man, but it the, the, that leaf that, that wraps it, that Ecuadorian leaf that wraps it, oh, my goodness. But the blend is super, 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 super solid. So okay, but still, it's so it, so it is sun grown, but yep. also uh, what are you about? About two to three years is that? No, no, no. So now, I mean, now that's no, it's it's four and a half four years and a half now. Years, okay. Yeah, yeah, All right. yeah. So yeah, it's been a cigar that's been around. Yeah, they said he's gonna fix that uh, Nebraska issue. Magnolia said super dark, super dark. super dark, <laughs> with a bunch of smiley faces. Yeah, he's got a little <laughs> bit of it's a pin in her story. That's it. Yeah. All right, so let's see. You love that girl. What's oh yeah. the uh, olive? The her olive. and her and her and her and her boyfriend. They're both super great solid people. cigar yeah. smokers. Super, Man, that's link super up. Super duper solid. The olive, and they were they were at Hackfest, so you probably ran. Man, into I her. probably did. She was the, she was the one that was dressed up. She laid down on the ground and did the uh, pool thing and do a, did a he, shot. Here's the thing about Hackfest. You was drunk. Y'all had me drinking at 10 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> 10 a.m.? We, we started at 7.30, 8 o'clock. What, well, what, what, what took you so long? Right. <laughs> and then when I got to the lounge, I really showed how drunk I was. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow. Um, All right. So what about the olive colored uh, one? That was yeah, one it's the, the Cameroon. It, that, it, that, that, um, that, it was, so it was between the Cameroon and the, uh, <laughs> the Conception that were my two favorites yeah. to start out with. So the Cameroon um, graded out uh, <clears throat> in between 12 and 15. Um, best cigars 2020 and yeah. ICC, man. Um, and I I know for sure. Fuck what they talking no, about. You said you said you said that word. Let's get it. Boom. Chris sorry drink. Fuck what anybody's talking about in ICC. Um, there's gonna be another cigar that is higher on that fucking list this year. And if it's not, I'm coming in. With my motherfucking AK and I'm shooting up the whole. Oh, thing. No, 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 no. It was no. a joke. It was, that, a, joke. It was, it was a, joke. a joke. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, we know. Everybody knows you me. You and I yeah. know that. But. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, why are y'all so serious? No, I just. It's me. We, we don't know who else is watching oh, man. outside. You know, okay. The dark we're worried, about, we're, we're worried about the Facebook police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, Pops, put a post out here to say you know me. Like, in any event, <laughs> I just know we, we, we put out some dope ass cigars in that oh, lounge. Yeah. I, I have, have no doubt that at that, least that's one, all I'm if not saying. two of them are, are going to be saying. on that list. I'm, I'm, I'm not Al-Qaeda. No, no, no. I will so, disown you, Sean Rath. So, I will disown what you say? like a bitch. So, you should talk about the greatest cigar of all time, the Acid Cuba Cuba. No, he's he's lying. He's, he's fucking he, around. He, I, I told him. I, I know. I, 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 I know. He's just trying to poke the bear. Um, 
So, in addition to those, oh, what about the silver, silver, silver uh, garter belt? The silver garter or, or the white? Or the, no, the, we already talked about the white. The silver is no longer in ICC. It's no longer in there, but it's still one of your blends. Yeah, it is. It is. It's, it's the integrity. It is a um, it's a San Andreas wrapper. It's a um, it's a wrapper that is eight and a half years old now. Um, wow. Damn, that's that cigar. Mm. <sighs> that's why I grab the glass. Uh, oh, and then you know, you're not belching though. And then you said it again, so that's yeah. Like two I drinks. said cigars, two drinks. Oh, now it's three drinks. Damn. Yeah, we gonna have to finish this. Just show be glad that Ryan's course. not here because he's we not good with math, and he just said that was like eight or nine. We gonna get to it. In any event, it's it's it, it is a cigar, well, it is cigar that. I, hold on, I, we need some in our glass, Ron. I ain't got shit in mine. <sighs> This is y'all's fault. Kinda... Y'all invited me. I didn't. I didn't. I was doing good on my Wednesday. Mm -hmm. You better go ahead and finish that. I'm, so I, I, I'm. I'm working on it. This absolves me and Chris cigar. Mm. Man, that is like a fucking night quill pour. In any event, the the in, the integrity mm. um has been a cigar. Has been a cigar that is. It's been a stick. Let's use the. Let's change our our vernacular. Oh my it. god! At least for oh. ten minutes. We love this shit. Has been a stick <laughs> that um has been become, become a um a niche stick. Mm -hmm. Um, some people like it. Some people um really enjoy it. Some people just hate it. And then the one uh, one that we haven't brought up, the walking stick. Now that one I, I know does very well uh, in the lounge. I'm not sure where that falls in, in all the cigars that we carry. At the that lounge. is our most stop. strong man. Oh damn it, man! Don't say stop. You invited me. I'm talking to him. But um, uh, that that's an excellent stick, um, and oh, I know that uh, that that goes. Well, let me and and, and and and, and how, I hope I don't get into trouble here. But why do you think that the silver band didn't work well in ICC? Why did you say don't get in trouble? Like, you know, man, the, the, we're family. We're, well, we're family. We're, we're, that's what we're here for. Well, I'm going to ask you I another. Mean, you, I'm going to ask you, you another. Ask me the questions. I'm gonna, family. I'm going to ask you another pointed question. Uh, so that we've already talked about, but we'll and, get there and, in a minute. And, and, and not that it was bad or anything, but I w I'm just curious what your thoughts are on it. Was is it maybe something you need to tweak or maybe something just didn't hit the palates? Just didn't it hit didn't. The so that cigar, I won't ever change that cigar. It was um, um, it was our first Maduro. It is, uh, damn fuck! I just said it, motherfucker. Who said something funny? Dave, man, so Pops, that's, that's Pops, I need to ride of... home. That's the second, third uh, siren. Oh. And, Second and or that's third. weird. And th that's th never happened. That's before. never happened before. Yeah, they Second must know that what? they must know that we're smoking some good cigars. Second or third ambulance has been by or oh, police yeah. car or whatever. I think it's first. Anyway, that cigar is just um, fuck, golly, day. Hey, it, hey, it's your rules. So cuss at your own self, not at us. I don't when, give a fuck. When, when when you decide to end the game, you just say, okay, mm -hmm. we're done. I'm spending the night already. Um, so well, I got room. That stick, <laughs> um, was a, was a Maduro, um, San Andreas wrapper. Um, and we got the leaves from a, um, really, 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 really prominent. Um, and we're talking about the walking stick now. No, we're talking about the integrity. We're, so, we're talking about the integrity. When, when you said it was a San Andreas, I was like, wait a minute, we're going back to the integrity. Okay. Yeah. So, so the leaves, um, on the, <sighs> on the, um, um, integrity is a San Andreas wrapper, but we got the leaves from a very prominent um, cigar company that was. Damn! Fuck! Oh. That was behind the definition movement and wanted to sell some leaves. Um, so that cigar, it'll be in its. Now Fuck. you wonder why I'm sitting here not saying anything. Mm hmm. How you know the integrity 
It's a good stick. Until we stop producing it, it'll be in the same form. But it's a niche sick stick. <laughs> you almost went the other way. I was getting ready to say you know, Yeah, you were. So this reminds me, if you've ever seen on Comedy Central, called Drunk History. And a comedian will sit there with someone else and they have to drink. And as they get yeah. I'm, I'm, through I'm the show, to, it gets... Trying. Yeah. All right. So Let's now, transition now, now talk else. about the walking stick. because Walking we, stick is dead mother... It's a it's a Lancero. So Dave asks, excellent. what does DC stand for? Chris Coulter says definition cussing. <laughs> definition definitely cussing. Definitely, definitely cussing. cussing. Yeah. Um Pops, um, you already know what it stands for. Deadly good cigars. No, we're not oh, gonna shit. say it. Oh, damn. damn. Like, man, you know what he was doing. Oh he was. Sneaky bastard. All right. Yeah, it stands for definition sticks, Pop, but the other word is District of, of Columbia. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> DC. Dave is like, say it, say it. They're um, just, they're just sitting on here to watch us get, get so, so the that, that, uh, Yeah, in fact, everybody who's still watching is <laughs> only here to watch us get fucked up. Well, that's bullshit. Like, and, and they're like, they're like, what does ICC stand for? They're industrial blank Hold on. company. We got a whole definition following over here too. Yeah, they oh, not, we do. They they, they, they want to they want to hear. Oh no, I think they I think they want to hear cigar talk. I, yeah, I, I they want to oh, hear cigar talk. Oh, see, oh, that's twice you said it. I need I need I need another bottle. I mean another. No, uh, not another bottle. bottle. <sighs> this is problematic. Mm-hmm. <sighs> definition family, hey, only because hey, this is hey, 125 what? proof. Definition hey, family. Hey, folks, hey, if just you're, for the record, you, just for the record. Oof. This is why we're here. I'm getting we're, ready to quit the show. We are, we are not here for anything serious. Who is here with you, though? Uh, we got eight <sighs> people here and how many or many you got on Instagram. And we're here to have fun. And to, and to be honest, I don't care who's on. I'm here with you, man. Yeah. So We're here to have fun and entertain ourselves. It's going to be broadcast. People are going to see it. Yeah. So it's out there for the rest of the world to see forever and ever because it is now on the Facebooks. Um... So here's here's a question I wanted to ask you, and I think I asked you this uh, a week ago when you were sitting in the lounge. Mm -hmm. Aaron and I and uh, Nate had gone out to go to one of those uh, speakeasies. We yeah, were over, we yeah. were over in McKinney, and uh, don't be distracted by the porn that Ron's showing over there. Um, but so we we visited another lounge. Thank goodness I didn't say the, the, that word. Please. Um, and. I need a break. Uh, we yeah, me too. And we went in to smoke a stick and of the lounges that they have, because they have several lounge well, I'll just go ahead and say it. It's in Fuego. Um they were actually they had in Fuego, read, they they provided McKinney, yeah. They provided decent customer service. They were good, very small area. They had a good selection and we got to talking about the different right. sticks that they carry. Yep. Uh and we, we mentioned DC. And they said, oh, we carried them at one time, but they just didn't sell here. And so so I got to thinking because... That's not true. Because I do... Like I said, I, I do... I, I was like, that's crazy because they, it's hard for us to keep some of their blends in stock over in Frisco. So I got to thinking because Brent and I have had several conversations on how they promote different uh, stick brands. Whew. I'm still yeah. uh and the different events they have, and I would and, challenge and, and that. how they it move him, stuff around. Well, yeah, so it, it, it took him long enough to catch on, folks. So but Chris is getting I would better. challenge that, and 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 you wanna know what? And I, so I was like, from your, I wanted to understand no, no, from your and, perspective, and and, and 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 the conversation him and I had was, yeah, I don't think they promoted it enough. They, I, no, or the right way. It wasn't about right promotion. Way. Or they okay. even had it. Well, then, or they, or they, or they could tell a story about it that they took the time to learn the story, or that they had it in the it prominent place. It wasn't about promotion. I, I swear to you. Okay. Um, well, then, mine. That's my brother. And I, I hope to get oh, feet. That's that's some strong stuff right there. Man, like, did your balls drop? Now they did. All right. So it's about time. I, I, I will say this on, on camera, and and I, I want feedback from it. Um, I'm getting harder and harder for me to read these posts. As an owner of a brand, um, I am intentional to live into the mission of the company 
right? I don't do no fuck shit. I, I, I don't I, I don't play in the area of being fucked off or not doing business the right way. Um, there was a question around pricing around a cigar for mm. that lounge. I remember now you telling me that that I question. told you this, Chris. Yeah, you told me this. Chris, I told you this off camera. This is me and you talking. Yeah. So a lounge we sold to decided to sell their sell the cigar at a reduced Damn Keystone here. price. So it was a lounge decision. That's not that's Jamon's not, issue. That's not, that's not issue. definition cigars issue. And oh, you said the you said the whole just say DC. I got you. And so that this lounge live, that we were Sean, at, I can't cut anything. That that lounge was. I think from there, thinking that you there were giving people was, different pricing. There was a feeling. There, there was a feeling. Um, but that that wasn't the case, man. We do honest business over here at DC, without a doubt. We love cigars, man. From so much so that you keep saying it when you're not supposed to. You said you wanted a break. That's your own fault. So my family is on this, is watching this right now. Mm -hmm. um, Brandon, Jamal, Chad, Neil, Jeremy. Um, my family who supports what we do day in and day out support the stick going into a lounge and somebody smoking it. So to get the energy that we gave somebody else different pricing from you, um, it's just not, it's just not. It's, it's not, not a factual statement. No, I get it. Because. Well, no, it's a conflict. Because we know what we put out and the blends. Right. I'm catching you on. No, like, right. The blends, man, people like, it's, it, it's a great stick. Yeah. People like to just smoke. It's like Again, real, real stick smokers. Want to just smoke something good? Like, like I don't give a fuck. Like, okay, I'm ready to fuck around. What you got for me? Right. Well, and I get the whole. You know, I understand that. You know what? Not every blend is going to hit with every person. No. So I could understand. Oh, these blends didn't work, but these sold really well. Right. So that was why you're not carrying any of their of their sticks. Well, pops that. It didn't it didn't make He's any still sense. On there, I it, think. Did. it didn't make it any did. sense to me. Especially, so that's why I had to, that's why I had to ask Because yeah, we are exactly. selling crazy in McKinney. Like, I, was like, with a, I had to ask you the question. And I, I did brand. it off camera first because I wanted brand. to I didn't know if they're but hey, you know, hey. anyway. It is what it is. I mean And just and and just to qualify it, because I was there. Yeah. Right. Right. I was there. There was no reason for that stick not to sell in what what less than two miles away yeah it's not it's not it it's was not. not two miles away and that's what was kind of shocking to to me and i was like well what happened and that's why we kind of blamed the shop man but yeah we, we we put it we're not, and we, we blame the shop we no 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 no, no. This, this is unfair we're not blaming blame the shop so i'm gonna blame i'm gonna talk about this chris and ron well we can talk about it off camera if you want no all right, I'm gonna talk about this. So, and I, when I say the shop, not not ICC, I'm talking about mm -mm, that mm -mm. particular shop. I'm gonna say something. Okay. That that that's not really. Acknowledged, okay. or, or or nobody wants to hug it. Okay. Let's get real. That. Say that again. I said let's get real. Man, definition cigars sell cigars to cigar lounges. That's three. Now, hold on, hold on. Don't drink it yet. I All ain't right. finished. Because maybe four or five. All right. Our company sells cigars to people who want to promote and push the culture forward. That's it. So, if you're caught up in what somebody down the street is buying the cigar for, or what you think they're buying a the cigar for, we're probably gonna disappoint you because we give pricing to everybody the same way. If you wanna upsell our cigar, you're gonna be disappointed. 
don't upsell our cigar because we give it to you at a fair market price for you to put it on the MSRP at a price. But if we don't come to how you feel you can sell our cigar, just catch it. We're not. We're not for you. I'll keep it dry. Mm -hmm. We're at eight right now. I think I'm going to have to pass out here in a few seconds. If you don't want to fuck with it, my goon J Majors will be at your front door. <laughs> ASAP. Say it. We only do good business. Okay. No, that's good. Uh, no, I can appreciate that. Um, all right. Now let's uh, have at least half of our eight drinks that we need to have. It wasn't eight. It was, it was eight. four. No, I counted them. I counted them. It was eight. And possibly a ninth one, but I was so distracted. That I don't know if I counted the ninth one or not. I quit counting at five. <laughs> he Bruh. quit counting at five. <laughs> Bro, I'm your guest. You gotta ask me a question, man. How you doing, brother? Man. Hey. I love All right, you, now, we're and, even, and, now we're even starting to lose. We're even starting to lose some of our people who are watching us to get get and get a hammer. Who loves huh? you, man? So the people. All right, so I love you, man. The other question I have, and maybe we asked this earlier, so we've gone through all of the different questions I've been and I asked you says, earlier. Sean says it was nine. All I right. must know who the hell is counting. Okay, well, well, Ryan, let's blame it on Ryan since uh, he, he's our uh, our friend. <laughs> no, who, Dave. Dave keeps asking what DC did. No. So, so, Dave, so I, we're not in Nebraska yet. Yeah, so I understand <laughs> that you guys also produce... A couple of flavored uh, yeah. sticks. Oh, flavored. thank God. Chris, Chris, thank God. Chris, 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 you, so, you got that in. Chocolate, vanilla. Uh, chocolate, vanilla, mocha. Mocha. Peach. Peach. Oh. Mm. Chocolate, vanilla. <laughs> it's hard peach. to remember what you had. I mean, mocha. And there's, there's about Vanilla. Three. No, you already said vanilla. There's about chocolate, there's vanilla, seven, isn't there? Peach. Six. Chocolate, oh, six. vanilla, peach, mocha. What are the other two? <laughs> hey, go to the website, uh, Ron, and, and help them out. Help the owner out. He's no, had no, a little no, too no, much no, to no. drink. Hold, hold, hold on, Ron. Are they on hold the on, website? Hold on, Ron. The hold strawberry on. one? Chocolate, vanilla, <laughs> peach, mocha, blueberry. Blueberry, yeah, yeah. Blueberry. blueberry. Cognac. Cognac, okay. Okay, well, that's mocha. Mocha. No, you already said mocha. You already said mocha. No, already said chocolate, so vanilla, six. peach, that's six, cognac. Right? Mocha. <laughs> this oh, there a, are seven. There are seven, so you're missing one. I don't know. Okay, there's uh, blueberry, nailed chocolate. That. Nailed that. Yeah. Cognac. Cognac. Cognac, nailed that. Flavor, uh, oh, one of them is a flavor sample, number yeah, six. Uh, peach, 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 mocha, mocha, and vanilla. Yeah, you got all of them. The sample was the seven, yeah. Was, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so I was surprised to see that you guys do have flavored or infused cigars. I, granted, and then you and I have talked about this before. This not, ain't on I'm, me. This I'm is not, on my squad. Well, not even I on you or your squad. Hey, you know they, what? They wanted it. You know what? They wanted it. There is a segment of the stick community. <laughs> man, I'm, I'm trying to really uh, help God. out your name. Of the community that really Ron, we got to digs, that really digs flavored and, and infused uh, sticks. Oh, I almost did it. And even at the lounge, they sell those sticks because... It Tell makes up, Dave it's, it's, that it makes he needs sticks. definition sticks in there. So... Cigar, lipsticks, and chain. So, um... Because we fucked up! So, I, I was surprised to see that, but I also understand, you know... But I like what you had to tell us earlier when you were off camera, that, you know what? If we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. We're going to do it. Gonna gonna do it right. We're still going to have yeah. good quality tobacco, and it's, about, it the, it's about the cigar first. I'm going to say it. It's about the cigar first, so that's twice. Um, and then about the flavor secondary. So you're going to make sure you have good quality tobacco and good construction and so on and so forth about the stick. But then it's we'll important. add that we'll add that flavor and deliver yeah. what some of the customers are asking for. But I appreciate that because again, uh, a flavored stick or an infused stick is not really hits my palate right. But there right. are a couple that are either sweet tip or in flavored or infused that I have found that have hit my palate right. So what I was curious about was oh I didn't know 
definition had had those, I would be interested in, granted, I don't know if it's something that the lounge will ever carry right. there, but I would be interested in finding out where around the DFWRA carries it, or if I could just get them straight from you, you bring a couple in, I'll pay you for them. Man, to, 100%. To try them, to try them, because I want to see, is yours one of the ones that hits my palate the right way? So, man, Chris. So, tell us, talk to us about oh, those. Man. Those man. sticks, not those C words, those sticks. So, if, if, <laughs> if I was Blake Griffin and you was Chris Paul, <laughs> And you threw me a lot. Only thing I would do is dunk it. Yeah, there you go. So you, dunk it. Take it so, home. Um, Flush it. Man, the flavors are are, are, are just what Chris said. Um, they're 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 not your typical um, expectation of flavor. We're cigar people first. We're cigar people first. Oh, that's two so, more. So, yeah, that's two. So before we have you smoke something that isn't. Um, a, a, a general stick. Uh, it's going to be something that's flavorful and that matches what definition is. Uh, so, in, in, in our flavors, um, you're going to find great, 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 great taste along with a, a cigar. Ow! Taste. Sorry, I just had to get that out. You burned yourself. Yeah, the ash so, fell right on my leg. You can't find them in a whole lot of lounges. You can you can link up with us and and we'll we'll share with you where the lounges are. Uh, but but the definition flavors are super dope. They're intentional. Um, there's cognac flavor, um, chocolate flavor, um, vanilla flavor, blueberry, peach flavor, and and lastly there is what peach, chocolate, vanilla, cognac, mocha. And blueberry, bang! And there's blueberry favorite that, that finishes out the finishes out the whole line. So, yep. I mean, just just check it out. It's 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 a, it's a five by forty two. Um, it's a Corona. Oh, okay. CR. Yeah, I, it's, it's, it's I, not I tend, long smoke. I, I tend to I tend to uh, uh, five by migrate 42. towards a, it's a five uh, by forty two. A Corona. So um, so um, you know, check it out. Uh, but definitely <laughs> cigars is for the people. Uh, it's it is for the people. Damn, we're gonna be wasted. I need to go to the bathroom. Y'all are gonna be wasted. Y'all are lightweights. It's not a uh, niche smoke. It's 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 a it's it's a smoke for everybody, man. So man, tap in and let's go from there. Hey, man, Ron, let's see. Let's hear, let's hear some questions from people, yeah. man. Here's some questions for you. Guys know. Well, let's let's go roll up and see because just, most everybody first time is making fun of how drunk we are. Hey. Because you, you you're drunk. I I, I got pee. I'm very excited. Hey, I gotta pay for his gum. You gotta pay for his gum. No pee. Oh, you just did the forest gum pee? Well, we'll scroll up here before we were. Who's totally the Austin wasted. Cigar Group? Austin Cigar Group. Give these people some money so they can promote your business. We don't take money here. No, fuck that, man. It, it costs it, it cost to do business. Austin Cigar Group. They don't take money. Man, give them something to put your logo in front. That's what it hey, is. Hey, Austin Cigar Group, you sent somebody up here to uh, DFW. We'll put them on the show. We'll promote your shit like hell. How's that? It's fine, but let me know if you love me. You know I love you, man. No, not me. Who? Let Austin Cigar Group know that they love you. I don't know yet. I haven't met them yet. They and, do and also, Austin Cigar Group, hit us up on Facebook, uh, Industrial Cigar. Uh, I'm hey. sorry. Hit us up on Tales from Lounge. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold Let on. me finish. Let me finish. Go ahead. And then hit I'm, us up I'm, I'm on it. Tales from Lounge. Tell us where you guys like to hit there in Austin. And Chris and I will come down and we will meet you guys at some of those cigar lounges, do some live shows from there, and promote the group. How's right. that? That sounds great. Did you tag me in? I tagged oh, you. Miss. All right, tag me in. So, Tales from the Lounge, Chris and Ron do this on their own. If you fully support what they're doing, support it. No, man, a like, a and message is good. No, no, Ron, no, let, no, me talk. Ahead, let, me, let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. A like, a request is good. But, man, support this podcast. Man, Man, 
look at the names that they had on on this board. It's it, it's not one of those. It's, it's not two guys trying to get famous on, on, on smoking cigars. They have a platform oh, on smoking cigars. You said it. Oh, I said it too. So that's two more. They have a platform. So um, you didn't drink. You just I'm drink. drink. I'm I'm still talking. All right. I'm feeling pretty good right now, Jay. I decided while I was in there peeing that I'm probably definitely sleeping on Ron's couch tonight. All right, what are we doing? All right, so we're an hour into this. We've talked about every single cigar that you carry, and we're gonna have another drink. Shut up. Hold on. Those two are totally are you, are you, are you not able to hang? This was your game, and no, now you're no, not no. hanging. You're not. You're not drinking. So that's man. Like, I've been three drinking. You on me. Hold on. There, there is family. There is family. There is family. So. Um, Brandon, Jamal, Chad, Neil, and Jerwin. Your brothers in arms. They need to come. They need to come out more often. I see you in the lounge quite often. They need to come out a little bit more often and uh, come visit. Yeah, they're out. And just I tell you what. Different parts. When I was at that uh, event that we haven't mentioned yet. Yep. I enjoy seeing your buddies there. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. I, they're solid guys. I was I was glad to see them, and we had such a great time that night. Uh, you know, my big deal is I love supporting people that I like, and I love supporting people. And it's not about the money; it's all about the camaraderie. It's about the environment, the experience, and it's about the experience. Man, Ron, man, man, here's the thing, man. Like, damn, I'm gonna smoke. Like, I feel like some of so bad, but I'm so passionate about this. It will be about money. But that's a secondary But, but that's secondary. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A lot of... We don't come from shit. A lot of us don't come from shit. We smoke cigars because we, we like them. We fell into the brand. Hold me on one. And we're here. Answer that question when you're done. Um, so when you when you <laughs> pair up and marry into people who have the same type of energy that you have, man, it's simple. It it is easy. It becomes so easy. Like cigars aren't simple. Mm. You smoke my cigars or you don't. You know my story or you don't. If you ask me a question or you don't to understand why I put these cigars out that I do. You don't. It's not Likewise, hard. How come I'm the only it person? It is not can, fucking hard. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because we're, I'm talking. Okay. I'm talking, Chris. Okay. It's not. It's not hard. I want everybody in social media energy or tales from the lounge or definition is that man from Houston and James Smith who is our territory manager from Houston to Mexico to um, the eastern part of um, the state of Texas and then what we smack your cousin what we got out here whatever we, whatever we doing here in Dallas and the Fort Worth area and to everywhere whatever we're doing the simple energy is this. Providing everyone with a great cigar at an affordable price for the people. We not, we're not convoluting it. Hold me one on the side. We're not making it simple. So no, you are making it simple. Yeah, I am. I'm sorry. We're, we are making it simple. Run. No, I got you covered, brother. Okay, folks. I think it's time for our shameless plugs. Listen, listen here. We've had a great time tonight. It, we've had what? a wonderful time. Yeah. <laughs> Jay's been an outstanding, outstanding special guest and taken us through DC. Uh, and, and you know, tell us and, about some. Wait, wait. One last question. One last question. Man, hit him. What me is your next 
blend that's coming out and when can we expect it? Yeah. January. January. What's the name of it? No you name. have a name? No, no name, name yet. No okay. name. No name okay. yet. All right. Um, One other question. When's your next event for DC? And where? All right. So um, um, the next new blend is coming out in January. Third week in January. Third week in January. All right. It, it's going to be a pop-up. Right, right, right before the Super Bowl. A couple weeks before the Super Bowl, huh? Yes. Nice. Oh, Chris. I like it. I like yeah, it. yeah, I, I know like what I'm it. talking yeah, about. Like I'm, like I'm, I'm popping like on them. Um, next event is uh, in... Um, uh, um, Lancaster, uh, Texas. You're Fried driving. Fish. A, you're Lan driving Lancaster. Lancaster. Wow. Fried Nobody fish. wants to go to Lancaster. Nice. Or so. Hold on. No, it's, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's a dual day. So from twelve to four, we're we North Park Mall at Camille. Okay. And then um, from four to um, whenever, frying fish down there at um, Blowing Smoke Cigars Ooh. in Lancaster, Texas. Frying fish, blowing smoke, uh, the sea. Blowing fish. smoke. So, man, anybody that, that 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 doesn't know blowing smoke and is a fan of Texas Longhorns. So the they, Aggies aren't invited. You can come. Oh no! Just she, don't tell she, them you're a, you're, she a, loves, you're an Aggie. She loves you. <laughs> Chris, listen to me. The owner of Blowing Smoke Cigars I'm sorry. I'm just the pot, folks. is is at Winter Brown. <laughs> So for us old schools, Ooh. not not us new schools. Oh, old schools back in the nineties when the Longhorns always got beat. For by old 80s. school, and we and Brown, when I was there. Yeah, well, let's talk about was the, 80s. the motherfucker. So she was the um, number three pick of the Detroit Shock in the lady. WNBA pick. Oh, nice. WNBA draft. Nice. All right. So she represents represents Texas strong. So man, hey, come out there. If if you and come out the there, Saturday, Saturday, October twenty third, this, this coming Saturday. Yeah. If you don't know, man, text me, or or send me a message, or send Ron a message. Ron and will get it, and then he'll, he'll get it. You, you send me a message, I'll make sure that I got that you. Is. I got you. All right. So free, free, free entry, but you gotta buy some cigars. I got that because they're selling tables out there. Excellent. So again. We want to thank you, Jay. Yeah. And definition cigars. One last time, definition boom, boom, cigars boom, boom, boom. for coming out and uh, being our special guest and telling us all about your cigars and the company and your passion. People definitely got your passion from this. Ron, we got sound. Um, Chris, we got sound. We we, we do. will. We will. We will. And now for our shameless plug. So this is finally the end of the show. So. Uh, be sure if you have any uh, heating needs. We're coming in the fall and the winter. Heating needs. Heating. Yes. Heating Aaron, needs. Aaron Klaus. Aaron Klaus with, with A1 uh, Rescue. Air Rescue. Uh, for your, all your heating and air conditioning needs. Distretto Coffee. We're coming in the winter. You know you know something to warm you up. Distretto Coffee. I uh, drink them every morning. And if, and you, he's have pretty Keurig, if you have a Keurig, they, they make D -cups. their own D-Cups. And dear God, who doesn't love a D cup? That's right. And then our friends at Someone Say Whiskey, Rodney and uh, his group out there. If you need to learn about whiskey and don't know much like I do, they are a great group. They have some great suggestions. They're a great group. They're very friendly. Hit them up, and they will help you out our, with your whiskey needs. Our 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 friend uh, Amy at Lone Elm, which we're gonna have come out and do. Uh, I think we did the. Uh, I think you did a live broadcast last month when she came and presented. That's why I thought I we had her on. I, I did, and she but we'll have her on the minutes, show. But we're gonna definitely have her on the show regular uh, um, here soon. And then uh, my buddy so, John at Palmetto State Armory out in South Carolina for all your gun needs, and also also cigars gun and needs. guns. Cigars and guns. Adrian, he does have his FFL. So if you have uh, any uh, gun needs, uh, definitely get in touch with him. And Larry Adams wants us to make sure that we hit Hutchins Barbecue, Hutchins Rush Taco. Barbecue. I love Hutchins. Yes. I love Hutchins. So he took me to dinner when they were in town for I, a day. And I'm sorry I missed that. Sorry you missed it. But uh, he still, even though the last time he was there, bought way too much and couldn't eat it all. Man, still I couldn't love resist, I couldn't love resist love Hutchins. buying a whole bunch of extra yep. stuff. Uh, and he and Julie took it and had it for breakfast or lunch the next day. And Wolf Taco, or, or Wolf, Wolf Burgers. Burgers. 
Those things are phenomenal. They do have phenomenal. a special off the menu ICC uh, special burger. So just so you know, yeah. Uh, so we go in with there a different the color, ICC special with a different color bun. Yeah, it's a red bun and everything. Um, I will also mention uh, Busy B. Busy B for all your DJing busy. and busy. Uh, picture needs. He he Man. and uh, then go local. Brandon's company. Uh, they do excellent marketing and branding. Um, someone say thank or say thank you. Uh, Begley's Someone company. Say who? No, it's uh, say thank you is what it's called. Uh, Begley, she does uh, custom gift baskets and engraving and stuff uh, for, especially we're coming in that time of year. Uh, companies do little gift baskets and stuff, uh, and they're already starting to decorate for the Halloween party. Right. Last night at uh, at the and house. I still need to hit with her and see if she needs anything from my my house because I've got all kinds um, of comic book guys. Stuff. Have, we, have we missed anyone? Uh, yeah, go local. We already mentioned them. Um, and then uh, oh H uh, uh, one uh, uh, insurance. Yep. Uh, Doug Heisler for all your insurance Shout homeowners out. and auto uh, needs. And then uh, Cam Pick for he is a he is a mobile. Uh, mechanic, if any you need anything, fixed. any auto repairs you need, he comes to your house, yeah. fixes your Cam car. Dope. And Cam reminded us he was the first person to sign our. He was. Backboard. He was the first one. He was the first one. But now the guy who came up with the idea, Jay, when as soon as we get done here, is going to be able to sign this, um, and we've got great things. So if, if he can stand, yeah, if he can stand, <laughs> can stand. we appreciate you guys watching us and sticking through us through this. Uh, uh, Entertaining and entertaining crazy show. segment. Um, and remember, for all of your cigar needs, if you want the highest quality and best lounge, oh damn, I said the c word. I'm not drinking. <laughs> the best lounge uh, anywhere in the world, at least top three, definitely visit ICC there in Frisco. Industrial Cigar Company. Ah, uh, well, there you go again. That's why I said ICC. I'm not drinking. I understand. Yeah, and thanks uh, everybody for showing thanks up. Thanks a lot. And we this has been a great What's show. your definition? And guys on ICC are on uh, on the Instagram here. Check us out. Tales from Lounge. We have some stuff on uh, uh, Instagram, but most of our stuff is on Facebook. Check us out and say hi, and we'll love to see you. And Sean says we should stay on for an extra thirty minutes because he mm. wants to see us keep saying the cigar word and keep drinking. You but fucker. you gave up a long time ago. I'm so, still hanging in there. Have a great night, guys. We'll see you later. See you next week. I don't even know what we're doing next week. I can't even think about it. <laughs> your game, your fault.